All right, this is first grade module two, lesson 26. And in this lesson, students are gonna be uh, focusing on this identity that a 13 is not just a 13, it is a 10 plus three ones, or a 15. It's not just 15, it's a 10 plus five ones. And that identity is really important, that bundled 10 inside one of those teen numbers. So let's get practicing. So here we're being asked to circle 10, write the number, and then write down how many 10s and how many 1s we see. And so this is a little funky, so let's take a look at this. What we see is we have 1 10, we're going to call that our 10, and then we can count, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight. So we have eight one. So we have 18. So there's our number, 18, which we want our students to know is the same as a 10 plus eight ones. Similarly, if we would do the same thing down here, we have a 10, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have 17, which is 1. Whoa, whoa, look at that, look at that, look at that. Ooh, they're getting tricky on us, huh? So that's, I don't, don't really dig that. <laughs> that's one ten and seven ones. Now we could do that because of the commutative property. It's a little not the norm to put the ones before the tens, but that's okay. I mean, it's a little out of the norm to put the ones before the tens, but that's, that's fine. So let's get going on this. So here, hide zero cards are basically a, kind of an interesting way of showing, for example, the number 18. And the idea would be uh, the way you would use a hide, uh, a hide zero card is you would have a 10. So that looks like a 10 because you can, you can see it looks like a 10. But then a hide zero card would be you take your 8 and your units and then you cover it up. So it's a 10 plus 8 gives you 18. And so that's basically what a hide zero card is. Ultimately, if you're a teacher who does not have hide zero cards, you're not missing out on a whole heck of a lot. There's a lot of ways you can compensate without using a hide zero card. Uh, it's free. Either you can make them or you just teach around this concept uh, because you don't actually need hide zero cards to get the point across. So the idea would be, what is an 18? Well, an 18 is a 10 plus 8 more. And so the way we're going to record that on this, like a representation of a wreck and wreck, is you're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's my 10. Plus you're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's my 8. So your idea is you've got... 10 plus 8. So we'd put a 10 here, an 8 here. So it's equal to 1 10 and 8 ones. Now parents and teachers, what do you do if you don't have rec and recs? What do you do if you don't have hide zero cards? No problem. Replace all of this with 10 frames. You can do the entire thing with 10 frames and you can model everything with 10 frames. The idea would be, oh, if you have 18 and we want to model that, well, what would 18 look like? It would look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it would look like 1, 10 plus 8 ones. And that's, that's it. So you could do this entire lesson using 10 frames for free rather than purchasing Reck and Recs or making your hide zero cards. All right, this is more of the same from uh, as the previous slide, only students are going to have to do a little bit more of the work. So we're going to draw our uh, ten, our five groups here in a column. First, we have to count. How many ice cream cones do we have? Well, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12. So we know that we're going to draw a group of 5, another group of 5, so there's my 10. And then I'm going to have two more over here. So I have a group of 10 plus two more. So I would say 1 10 
and two ones. And if you wanted to, you could say equals 12, but you don't have to. And then this problem is the exact same concept. Uh, parents and teachers, if this line is not big enough to draw your 10 circles like I did over here, no problem. This is not a, a, an opportunity for your students to stress out for not having fine enough motor skills. Just get, get your students through this. The idea is we want students to recognize that 12 is a 10 and two ones, or another way of saying it is one 10 and two ones. That's the big concept. The, the important thing is not whether students can draw dots small enough to fit on a line. And the last slide for this video is just kind of more of the same, only we've removed even more of the scaffolding. Now students simply have the number 16, and their job is to represent that 16 using the columns and the tens and the ones. So we've got the number 16, so here's our column, and we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then here's another one, and we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 16 is the same as 1, 10, and 6, 1s. And that wraps up lesson uh, grade 1, module 2, lesson 26, where really the main thing is not can students use hide zero cards or can they use rec and recs. The main thing of this lesson is do students recognize 14 as 110 plus four ones. And that's the big thing about this lesson.